but hey welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here then hi my, my name is erica and i really hope my mic doesn't pop off because i'm wearing like a lace hassle and i guess it doesn't really go on lace whatever we're just gonna work with it and hope we don't have any technical difficulties but today I'm going to talk about Hello Leash once again. So if you don't know, I've, I've covered Hello Leash a lot on my channel because she was very much into attacking Gabby. And, and, and I don't use the word attack. Like, I, I try not to overuse that word, but I believe she did attack Gabby. And, and then she had this whole big blow up with her ex moderators and they kind of exposed her problematic behavior behind the scenes and in front of the scenes to be fair like she was always a pretty problematic and not a nice person she's said some nice things to me but she's also been mean to me so I'm not really going to hold that against her though, but recently she made a video about the Will Smith, Chris Rock debacle at the Oscars, and it was a very concerning video, and here's why. First of all, it was nearly two hours long. It, it, it was a live stream. Hello, Leash. Since she's come back to YouTube, she tends to go more with live streams than sit down videos, which I think is a big issue because she talks off the cuff and can say some harmful things, but it's not, it's not edited out because it's a live video. But anyway, she made this video and it reminded me a lot of the Rewired Soul. Now, if you don't know who the Rewired Soul is, good for you. He is a YouTuber who was popular like a year or two ago. And he I didn't want anybody to know because I was so embarrassed. All right. So when I look at Garrett Watts situation and I see how he hasn't been active on social media, you know, my concern is, is that he made this very public announcement that he was going to start making videos again and be more active. And I know he's made appearances in like Jeffree Star videos, Shane Dawson videos. He was just in a Ryland Adams video and all of that. But he hasn't really been on Twitter or Instagram as much because when he does, he did a lot of mental health commentary on his channel but it was a lot of speculation and making things up about different public figures whether they be youtubers or regular like traditional type celebrities he would make videos about what he thought was going on with them based on his somewhat limited knowledge of mental health because the rewired soul has struggled with addiction in the past so he did have that sort of experience with mental health but he's not by any means a mental health professional and even if he was speculating on someone's mental health like that publicly is just not appropriate and that's my criti that's my main criticism on this new video that Hello Leash released last night was she talked a lot about Will Smith's past and him feeling I I inadequate and how these are all warning signs and so I'm, I'm I want to dig a little deeper and talk about what the I, I got to be careful what I say in the first couple minutes, you know, the words that I use, but what the crap is going on? What's going on with, uh, with Will Smith? Interesting. What I came to after really like thinking about it for some time is that something's going on with Will Smith. Cause that's not, that's not normal behavior for most people. Um, you know, Will Smith is always, 
we'll talk about dignified or just a for what went on at the Oscars. And Leash, you're not a mental health professional. And even if you were, you're not treating Will Smith. So why are you making stuff up about his mental health? And that but you're starting to see somebody maybe who's more broken than Chris Rock was in Will Smith. You just saw somebody who's like broken, somebody who's got, um, who's cracking under whatever kind of pressure, perhaps. And I, that's what I saw. So it kind of makes sense to me in, in, a, in a way um, that people, situations, certain uh, warning signs. So last year in uh, November, a couple of things happened. A few things happened, actually. There was an autobiography that Will released, a Red Table Talk. He was on Oprah. So a few things. In his autobiography, I believe it's titled Will, um, he talks about his father being violent. Um, I don't want to use the word that might get me demonetized after win. And so, like, you know, it's it's sad to hear that people who are just, who shine so bright, feel like failures in their own, you know, when they're alone with their feelings. And so um, it goes to show that, you know, mental health is, is uh, doesn't discriminate mental health, Ill, mental illnesses and mental health issues. I mean, um, so my takeaway from this portion of the conversation um, is that will a couple of things that we do know. So like I said, we can't know all of those things about their relationship. What we do know though, is that will has confirmed his feelings of inadequacy he has confirmed he's developed unhealthy coping skills. He has confirmed that he feels like a failure with his divorce of his first wife and that he feels like a cuck. Like I, that's the best way that I can describe what he described. He talks a lot about feelings of failure and, and kind of... Um, and I feel like she also started to blame Jada Pinkett Smith, which I think a lot of people in this situation have wrongly put. She could speak to essentially her own behavior four or five years prior to this, um, when during their separation-ish, because like I said, they have a hard time really like putting words to this It really what it sounds like is messy marriage drama and just like, difficult to say whether or not the public can say if somebody's humiliated or not because while humiliation is a very personal thing to feel it also oftentimes really does involve the public it involves shame it involves embarrassment and that that involves other people so um but again yeah i i later said oh it's my next note <laughs> um I said many believe that they are the blame on her when she was a victim of Chris Rock's disgusting joke. Like, she, she didn't do anything. Looking at your husband is not something terrible to do. Like, if someone made a joke about me, well, to be fair, I'm not dating anybody right now, but let's say like it was m me and my best friend were hanging out and s somebody said something really nasty to me or about me and I heard it and I shot my best friend a, a, a look and then if she, well, I mean, my best friend doesn't re really hit people. I've never, I, I've never witnessed her hitting people or anything like that. But let's just say, for whatever reason, in this hypothetical situation, she went up and hit this person who hurt my feelings. And then people all put the blame on me because, oh, Erica and that look, she's a manipulative bitch. Like, that's kind of what people are saying about Jada Pinkett Smith, and that's misogynistic. So I, I made a note that he does seem a bit defensive um, and like not confident about this whole open marriage concept when he talks about it. Um, and so, yeah, rumors had been swirling um, that he'd been repeatedly humiliated by Jada in recent years. So we're going to look at 
back at bat. I'm just checking in with the chat. We initially saw Will Smith laugh at the joke. And then like right next to him was Jada, of course. And she just like rolled her eyes big. And uh, shortly thereafter, Will went right up on stage, smacked him straight across the face, went off stage and then shouted from his seat, you know, basically keep my... And I made a video on that actually, that it's probably, I don't know when I'm going to release this video, but it'll probably be like a good week after I release that video. But anyway, it's not Jada Pinkett Smith's fault what Will Smith did. And... Hello, Lee, she even went on to be like, oh, well, she might have cheated on Will. They say they're in an open marriage, but it's from the sounds of it, she cheated, and they're just saying that to save face. But from what I have gathered is that Will and Jada talk about kind of an open marriage, so I don't know if they even use that, that terminology, but it almost sounds like that title was shoehorned into the situation instead of the situation being outlined out of the decision to have an open marriage. Does that make sense? It's almost like they wanted to figure out what they wanted to do or what they felt they had to do and then let's slap a title on it. Um, and First of all, you who don't know that and sp speculating like that has a big potential for harm. In fact, I actually commented, commented that on Hell, Hello Leash's video. I tried to do it in a respectful manner. But you know, it's hard to tell if you sound respectful when you're typing something out. You know, because I don't know how somebody is going to perceive it. So I just kind of cross my fingers. I don't curse. I try not to blame anybody, but I try to just lay out my concerns. So, I mean, you can be the judge of whether or not I was respectful or not. But anyway, I laid out that concern because she doesn't know about their marriage as much as they may talk about things publicly. And I mean, to be fair, Hello Leash did say this, that he, nobody else can really know. But it's like, so if nobody else can really know, why are you making a two hour live stream video all about this? Because it's point. Um, I said that we can look at the evidence and we can postulate about what's happening, but only they know. So yes, let's make this very clear. Only they know what's going on in this relationship. Maybe these words to me sound funny and they sound, like I said, shoehorned and they sound like they're forcing something that, you know, into a little neat boxes, but maybe it is those things, at least to them. I can't say for sure. That's why I, I you don't know. You're just speculating and like sh sh shooting the shit with with your audience, which just causes more noise and harm. And I felt like it wasn't a productive conversation. And again, it reminded me of the rewired soul and even a little bit of Shell and Lester, although to be fair, Shell and Lester's commentary is very mean spirited, and at least in this video, Hello Leash did not come across as mean spirited. She just came across as being irresponsible and throwing theories around to see which sticks. And that's not my taste. I mean, it might be yours. If it is, I guess that's fine. But I think there are ethical concerns with that because real people are involved. And also, when you start talking about mental health and sounding like you know what you're talking about, even when you don't, that can be really irresponsible because people i i've read comments before and to be fair i don't know if these people are being truthful i don't know if they be 
even never watched Hell Unleashed, but I've seen comments where people said that for a while they truly believed Hell Unleashed was a, a mental health professional because she never clarified that she wasn't when she was talking about other people's mental health. And I think that in that case, that should be a disclaimer in every one of your videos. Like, I try not to come onto my channel and act like I'm a mental health professional. Like, the, the only thing I have knowledge on is disability studies because I'm in a master's program for that. I also have knowledge on classical civilizations, which isn't necessarily helpful on YouTube, although there are times when it comes in handy and writing, which is helpful on YouTube, but in a different way than any type of that knowledge. <laughs> but un enough about me, because this video this is not about me, but if people are perceiving you as a professional when you are not one, then I think it's time to either take a step back and re rethink continuing to do that type of content when you have no real uh, expertise in it and you may in fact be s spreading misconceptions and more harm than good or of course she can keep going with it, but I would think she should then put a disclaimer in the beginning of every video where she's talking about other people's mental health and be like, okay, but I am not a mental health professional. These are just my thoughts. And maybe I'm too sensitive in that way. <laughs> what We know that they have friends within the within the church they've denied being scientologists we're going to talk a little bit more about that but i'm going to talk about scientology but don't get too married like i said they're good friends apparently with uh, tom cruise um and possibly other scientologists and jada tweeted i have this is super important super important super important i have studied dianetics and appreciate the merits of study tech but I am not a Scientologist. She opened a school with the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard with Dianetics and study tech, whatever that is. Um, and as far as ever, but I think what I think, another thing that bothered me about that video was she went on like an hour long rant about Scientology and and how it might factor into this situation, but she's not sure. If you're not sure, and you don't have any real concrete evidence, you only have like circumstantial evidence at best, like, oh, he's kind of friendly with Tom Cruise, so he might be a Scientologist. What? What does that have to do with this situation? Oh, wait, it doesn't. You're just adding it to be hellacious, in my opinion. But she then went on to be like, Scientology condones physical violence, which I don't know much about Scientology. <laughs> to be frank, it, it confuses the shit out of me because... It's, it's all like philosophy, but not even good philosophy. It, it makes, anyway, it doesn't matter that I don't understand Scientology, but I, I don't know that they condone physical violence. I, I don't know that they don't condone physical violence, but that that's not concrete proof that Will Smith is a Scientologist and that even if Will Smith is a Scientologist, that has nothing to that might have nothing to do with what happened at the Oscars. And I say this to say that Hello Leash, for lack of better words, is going off the rails in the way that the rewired soul did. Like 
I feel like some creators get to a certain point, whether it's after they've been canceled or before they've been canceled or when they grow a lot on YouTube where they seem to just feel like they can say whatever they want and be irresponsible on their channel. And it's like, like, and I realize Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith and Chris Rock are, are definitely, I, not definitely, but pretty much almost definitely not going to watch Hell Alicia's video. And they are probably 100% not going to watch my video because I'm way smaller than Hell Alicia. But it doesn't matter because you are... You are using conjecture and you're talking about things you don't know and you're throwing out theories as if it's like a movie. Like if, like, I have no problem with Hello Leech's series on Euphoria. I, I did not watch that series because I didn't watch Euphoria because I don't have HBO. So if I ever get HBO, I would rather not get uh, spoilers for it. So I, I didn't watch it. And also, I just didn't really want to know her take on it because... I don't know, it, it didn't interest me, no shade to her, but like, I'm only interested in what I'm interested in, and I didn't really care to hear her thoughts on that, but this situation involves real people. These are not fictional characters that you get to just psycho analyze and be like oh maybe this meant this and this might be a symbol for this no it's not fiction it's real life that affects real people and you don't know these real people and even if you did it's not if they want to come forward and be like this is why i did what i did and this was and all of this made like this perfect storm to make me act in this way, then that, and they should be able to tell that story, but not some random commentator on the internet. I, I say as a fellow random commentator on the internet, I try to never speculate on people's mental health because I know it can cause harm not only for that specific person that I'm talking about but also for other people because then I'm going to create this narrative and I might be spreading misinformation and contributing to misinformation and I would rather not do that on my channel and I think that's the it the <laughs> I can't talk today, apparently. I think that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it or if you learned something or if it made you think, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already and you would like to see more of my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.